guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay, so I was talking to a lovely lady by the name of Tracy who lives in Oklahoma. And she was telling me that she is starting a tarot business. I got the goosebumps when I was talking to her, okay? I want to share today something I shared with her. And it's a story about a lady who came to my house about five years ago. She came, this lady, random lady, she rang me out of the blue and said, I need your help. So I said, come over, have a coffee and tell me what's going on. So when this lady came to my house, she said, I've got this little shed in my backyard. It's about six foot by six foot. And my ex-husband owned it. It was his shed. It's got all his tools in it. But I want to turn it into a little place where I can do tarot readings. And I said this little gem to her. I said, if you go into that shed, clear out all his energy. You don't want his energy in your space. So we've got to make it your own. So clear it out, dust it all, sweep it out, do whatever you need to get it clean. And then go over to a haberdashery store. Here in Australia, we have what's called Spotlight. They sell curtains and sheets and materials and you name it. So I said, if you put up all this beautiful material inside, glittery or fluorescent, whatever you want to make it, but you hang it from the ceiling like a little harem tent inside this space, so it's your energy. Then, when you create it, you put in your little table and chairs, because not much else fits in there, and you stand in the doorway. Now, this is major. You stand in the doorway of this space that you've just created, which is your energy, and you're declaring to the universe. So you're not really looking at anything in particular, but you just put it out there. You raise your hands up, and you say something like, thank you so much first, because we always give thanks first, right? Thank you so much that I have been able to create this space. I don't know who's going to come because I take my ego out of this equation. And I want the universe to attract into me those who need this space. So in other words, what you're asking the universe to do is to bring in people like an attraction or a magnetism, people who need your services. So this woman went home. She made the space. She put in all this beautiful. Um, she actually got this stuff that had like silver ribbing through the material. So it all, when the light hit it, it all shined out with the silver. And she put all this down the walls and across the roof. And she put in some nice little cushions and a nice little lamp with a little salt lamp on it. You know, the old um, pink salt, um, Himalayan salt lamp. She put one of those in there, made it her own space. She stood in the doorway and she said something like, I allow whoever needs this place to come to me now. I've built it, therefore you will come. She rang me about a month later and she said, Linda, I'm getting five clients a day. And I said, great. Well, how did you advertise? She says, I don't. And I said, well, how do you get people coming to you? Because I know the answer here, right? I knew the answer. She said, I actually asked this one man. He said he was driving down the major road near her house. And he just had this incline to turn into her street. And he saw the sign on her front fence that said tarot readings. Oh, are you getting the goosebumps? So the message for today is we don't need to know how this works. All we have to do is trust and believe that it will. If we put our heart and our soul into whatever we want to create, whether it's spiritual or a new job, new partner, new car, new house, whatever. As long as we put our energetic connection into creating it, the universe answers. And if it's meant to be, 
it will be created for you. So I hope that's helped you today. Please know Tracy in Oklahoma, thank you so much for being the one who asked this question today. Please know how much I love getting questions about heaven or how do we do this? Because if you've asked it, generally means that somebody else is going to ask it as well. So if you do want me to name you in a video where I promote who you are, so Tracy in Oklahoma, thank you so much for this video today. So I hope that this has given you some inkling to go out there and create this yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll talk soon. Bye.